This is not your ordinary popcorn machine. Coined from a Swahili word meaning edible, Yalika is a brainchild of Rob Nurston, an entrepreneur who identified a gap in the healthy foods industry. It all began um, by trying to make a snack food without any additives, without any preservatives, without any artificial flavorings, and um, fat-free. So maize was a very obvious choice because we live in a country that produces maize. Maize is also the staple diet of Africa, never mind of Kenya. So um, we worked on maize. I saw on the marketplace a lot of extruded maize products. Um, I've seen things like fritos, all very delicious, all very nice, all very full of E23s um, and E56s and lots of uh, preservatives, lots of additives, lots of artificial flavorings. And I thought, well, you know, we're not an artificial people. We're real down-to-earth people. Let's have a real down-to-earth snack that is really good for you. Rob says that unlike normal popcorn snacks, which can be made in a microwave, maize has to be subjected to extreme heat of up to 300 degrees for it to pop. That led him to develop a maize popping machine. The innovation came about um, through use of extreme heat. Um, we understood physically what had to be done, but we didn't have the machinery to do it. So we had to design machinery that could heat maize to an extreme temperature without burning it. Once innovators have a good idea and create a workable model, the next step is scaling up for them to increase production capacities while still making improvements to the innovation. Scaling up is a progression. Um, once you have a working model, which we do, it is not a big thing to now increase volumes by increasing equipment. So we already have plans um, for the new equipment, which is currently already being made. But what happens with innovation is you find fault in what you've already done. So you consistently are improving, modifying, and making the potential new one better. A key challenge for Rob has been marketing Yalika. That is not his strength. So to help, he hired marketing experts, a decision which he advises other entrepreneurs to do as well. We don't pretend to be what we're not. And we have engaged with a few people, uh, Pulse Experiential and Brackot Limited, who are assisting us specifically in the marketing area. We have some wonderful talent within those companies that have pointed us in the right direction, that have given us ideas to pursue um, that involve educating people into the benefits of eating healthy food and the benefits of playing sport and they've, they've brought a whole lot of fun activities together and we're associating that with the Yalika name. And what's his advice to upcoming entrepreneurs? I would say the ideal scenario is to actually try your idea out on a small scale that does not cost money. A proof of concept is always good. Whether you intend to approach a financial institution to help you with your product or just friends and relatives like I did, it's good to have a working model even though it, it's a tiny one. It doesn't matter. You've got a proof of concept and that's the first step to the road of success.